I didn't, I didn't really want to get into the, you know, the whole limb bone thing, just because simply for the fact, you know, we don't have all of the facts on it, but it did get me thinking about, um, you know, the young players and the distractions that maybe, you know, Las Vegas can present. And I wanted to, you know, I wanted to get your guys' opinion on this too. You know, Las Vegas, you know, you got your gambling, you got your women, you got uh, some fun things to do out here, right? And so these younger players, now I give a lot of credit. To Wait a minute, there's out. women in Las Vegas? What are you talking about? Well, not for you. I'm but on my way. The rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, Gruden and Mayock do, do a great job of vetting these players, and they, they obviously they go after the, the high character players simply for that fact. That that's the one reason I, I think maybe there won't be as big of a problem. But you never know, you know, you get into that casino, you get into the, like, you start gambling, you have a few drinks, you got some women around you. And next thing you know, you know, you're down a couple hundred thousand. That could be a problem. So I was wondering what, what you guys thought about, you know, the players and, and the, the Las Vegas atmosphere. I think that the players will be, uh, I think they'll adapt to it. You know, the, the one thing, and look, I don't live in Las Vegas, but, you know, my mom lives out in that area. Obviously, you guys live there in Vegas. And from what everything I understand is most people don't really indulge in all the Las Vegas lifestyle if they live there. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a lot different than when you just come from out of town for a three day, three week, a three day weekend or whatever and just and hang out. Then you want to go and, and like my mom says, I only go down to the strip when you're in town because you want to go. And so that's you know that's that's but that's just one case. Uh what I will say though is uh, about these young players, they have to know that you can't be in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know what I mean? I mean that and, and that could have been a simple what happened with, with Lynn Bowden Jr. is that it's a, it's a case of him being uh, in an area that, you know, was was being looked at and watched for quite a while. And then he just happens to be spending the night there uh, with his son. Yep. And then, boom, all of a sudden a raid happens, you know. And so uh, you just got to be really careful about the people that you're associating yourself with. And and uh, like you said earlier, uh, Scott, there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, guys that want to hang on because, well, you're all they got, you know. And so you really, really got to be careful about where you're at, how you're doing it, because now all of a sudden you're in the NFL and the spotlight is all on you. Like the headline said that uh, Lynn, Bowden's, uh, Lynn Bowden Jr.'s home gets uh, gets raided. It didn't say anybody else from the, the home that was in there, but Lynn Bowden no. Jr. was the name that they He's, attached to it because, well, that's the name that mattered. Would anybody right, else, would, right. would anyone else have known like Chris Bowden? I don't even know if there is a Chris Bowden, but what, I mean, nobody would have even known that. You know what I mean? It's just, that's what it felt like to me. Like they waited for him to get there before they did the raid just so they would have that headline, right? That's kind of what it felt like. Being well, and, and but to your point, Chaz, you know, the question, because because I hear this a lot from people about the fact that, well, you know, Las Vegas, and, and especially I've seen it from a lot of national uh, media t folks who talk about, oh, man, you know, Las Vegas, there's going to be so many new problems because, you know, it's Las Vegas. But here's the deal. I completely flatly reject that, Chaz, and that's not directed at you. It's a good question. Uh, but the fact is, look, any of us who've traveled and been around uh, know that I can go to New York City. Um, I can go to after hour clubs. There's mo uh, just as much prostitution and there's illegal gambling in New York City. It's in places like Kansas City. It's in places like Dallas and Atlanta. Uh, you can find trouble wherever you are. It doesn't yep. matter. In Las Vegas, I think that a lot of players will avoid it because look, when it comes to gambling, uh, it, it is so strictly regulated here. Because it's strictly regulated here, you can't walk in as a player and make a bet on a game, let's say, which is illegal, um, and not be caught because everything is on video. The eye in the sky, if you ever see the movie Casino, which uh, is a classic. Uh, but if you, you know this, so, so you can't get away with those things here in Las Vegas. And 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 there's prostitution everywhere. There's, there's, look, there's drugs everywhere. It doesn't matter. If you're a guy who's going to do some of that or partake in that, I think you're going to get caught faster here. And so so the, 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 the impetus on the player to not get in trouble, there's almost more responsibility because people are expecting it here. But I don't think... For those of us who've ever been to New Orleans, I don't think Las Vegas is actually the true Sin City. I think New Orleans, there's much more going on there than than I've seen here in Las Vegas. <laughs> Not that there isn't a lot going on here. Yeah, Q, I love I love New Orleans too. Uh, but, but you know, my, I mean, I walk down the street in New Orleans and I see topless women with painted breasts, right? I don't see that in Las Vegas. Now, you might see some high-end call girls at the bar, <laughs> but... But so tell me, which is different? You're not going tell to the me. right places, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing in Buffalo? My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Buffalo seems so boring. That's my, 
<laughs> That's my point though. Las Vegas, look, it's regulated here. So the eyes on, uh, it's a smaller area too. Remember it's two and a half million people. The strip is four miles long. I mean, it's not that big. So you're going to get caught if you get it, if you want to get in trouble here. And so I just don't think, I think it's played up a lot by people who don't have never spent time here other than in a hotel and don't understand that outside of that strip area, like most people you talk to, I had a Raider fan who watches us who contacted me and said, Hey, I'm coming. Where, where can I stay? It's a good place for us. We're coming for a Raider game uh, where there's not a lot of prostitutes and drugs. Right. Well, I don't know. I mean, where this person lives, they might have it too. And look, that's everywhere. But people have the idea that like you can just walk into 7-Eleven and say, yeah, I'd like a prostitute, please. And, and, and it's not legal in Nevada. And excuse me, in Las Vegas, it is legal in counties with populations under 50,000 in Nevada, by the way. So, but other than that, I that just think that- 7-Eleven over on top of Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're a married guy you don't get out of touch with most of us right you're married you're home you're a happy guy you know i traveled with these players uh, with the professional team for three years every city everywhere we went you know these guys like to go out they like to have a good time and i'm not talking about these guys getting caught you know i'm not saying they're going to bet on sports illegally or, or you know do any of those get uh, prostitution or anything like that i'm just talking about them going out Gambling is legal. You're saying, okay, you can find illegal gambling in other cities. Right here, it's legal. It's easy. It's accessible. But it's not, but it's the not legal for them. It's not legal for them. They can't do it per league rules. They, they can't, can't go to the high limit room and throw the dice? What are you talking about? No. No, they can do that, but they're sports betting for them. Gambling here, they can, I'm, but I can go sports find... betting. I'm not talking about them sports betting. I'm talking about right. them going down to the club, going down to the casino, hanging out in the high limit room, having women around them, having a few too many cocktails, and then they just, you know, lost two hundred thousand. Jazz, they can do that. They can do that in California. They can do that in New York. They can do, they it can in do that anywhere, but it's not as easy. And in Vegas is a little more, you know, you want to show out. It's a little more flamboyant here. You want to go out and have a good time. And, and the thing is, a lot of these guys, they do get in trouble, but they, it kind of gets swept away. You know, I know that these, these uh, professional leagues do a good job of kind of keeping these guys on the straight and narrow. When they do get caught with something, they kind of make it go away. So, uh, all my question was, I'm not saying they're going to try to do anything illegal. I'm just saying that they're going to be out having a good time because it's really easy to find a good time in this town 24 hours a day. And I'm just hoping that, you know, we do have these high character players that, that won't want to partake in that as, as much as, like you said, the, the usual weekend uh, getaway tourists. And, and that's why I think that the ones that are going to probably be affected will be, like you just mentioned, you know, traveling with a professional team and guys want to get out. I think the teams that travel in are going to have more of a struggle than the Raiders because right. I feel like the Raiders are going to yeah. get accustomed to it. You know what I mean? That was so, my next point. Yeah, when, when New England comes to town or who, when the Saints come to – well, the Saints are in New England – are in New Orleans, so they already know. But, <laughs> I mean, when you, you know, when you have – like the Carolina – oh, Carolina play, Panthers playing on the road. Well, you know what I mean. When a team comes to cause, comes to town, that is when they'll be affected, I think. I think it'll be the road right. team that uh, is more, you know, more – have to be a careful and make sure that they don't get caught up in something uh, when they're there in Vegas. We hear no, that I talk don't. about when teams go into New Orleans, right? And New Orleans yeah. has kind of a little more of an advantage because the other teams are out partying all night on bourbon in Miami. <laughs> yep. No, right. that's true. And and we saw it here. We 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 with the hockey team here. They called it the Vegas flu. And by the way, Mo Moten's back with us. We had some audio and video issues, but Mo, you're hearing us okay now. Mo, he's yeah, he's he's up. thirsty. <laughs> okay, good. So he, you, know, you missed the talk about prostitution and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you missed you, you know you missed all the Is fun. Is that, the, is that the home field that Edge Brewer is going to have here? Is this, is this the it could be. It, I mean, it, it could, could be. be. <laughs> I'm hoping. Denver's got that mile high. New Orleans has got Bourbon Street. We got the right. strip in Vegas. Give us a little advantage. <laughs> I, th I think I think the bigger issue with Las Vegas, actually, at this point, uh, especially because it's not legal in every state and in federally it's illegal, even though they're not going to test for it like they used to, is you have legal marijuana here. So I can see that being an issue um, for for a player, especially. But again, I, I just I, you know, I've been to New York and, and Chaz, I didn't travel as much as you do, but I, I traveled with professional athletes, too, in, in, in the boxing world. And so so believe me, when I understand the lifestyle. Uh, and and I think that yes, they have to be careful because the microscope will be on them more here. I think that's the bigger issue: is will they get in more trouble, or can they get in more trouble here? I don't think so. But can the appearance of trouble be worse, Mo, with Las Vegas? I think yes, because everybody's going to expect it. 
Yeah, of course. I, I, and you said it. The, the media spot is going to be on these players, especially the young players. And I think having guys like Jason Witten in the locker room and some of the other players like Prince Mukamara being there, I think that helps the young team get trouble to avoid trouble if it, if it comes to foot. But I'm not, I'm not too worried about the Raiders is, is saying, oh, they're in more trouble because they're in Vegas versus any other team traveling to Las Vegas. And at any point, these are professional athletes. They understand what's at stake. They understand the task at hand. They have to keep focusing. That's John Gruden's job, to keep the guys in line. And that's all uh, the players in the locker room, Derek Carr, captains like that, Rodney Hudson, those guys are going to keep their teammates in line. So I think it's up to the players to kind of galvanize and say, look, this is – we're focused. This is our this is our plan. This is what we're going to do. We're not going to go out here and delve in prostitution or booze or whatever, but we're going to focus on the game and the game plan and the task at hand. Well, the one thing, the one thing I, I, I'm sure that if Mo was on the team, if you were working for the Raiders, Mo, and all these young players come to Las Vegas, I know the one thing you would make sure they stay away from cheesecake. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely stay away from the cheesecake. Uh, no pineapples on your pizza. Uh, have, a, have an avocado smoothie. Stay away from the booze. Have an avocado smoothie. You know, some crackers. Yeah. Something bland. You know, this is, this is business. Here, this is not fun. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. Now, now, guys, we talk about.